Hey everybody, I want to show you something. I've got an old axe here that my father, who was a farmer, used to use. He would use this uh, to uh, cut brush. He would use it when he was making wagons. He made his own hay wagons. And when he was mending fence and other things, dad was a small farmer. And so you kind of had to build your own stuff. And dad replaced the handle on this axe on more than one occasion. But he always liked to keep his tools sharp. And he had an old emery wheel, he called it, which really was kind of a sharpening stone uh, that he would uh, plug in and it would turn real fast. And he would take this ax and he would put the edge of it right onto that stone. And boy, the sparks would fly and you would hear the grinding. And you would see him very slowly and very skillfully work it until he got just a fine edge on this axe that he wanted to make it practically as sharp as a razor blade. You might say that my dad had an axe or two to grind. <laughs> now, I didn't follow in my dad's footsteps. I'm not a farmer. I'm a preacher. And we all know that sometimes preachers have an axe or two to grind. So I guess if I'm gonna be visiting with you all, I better be honest right off the bat about what acts it is that I have to grind. I've had a lot of trouble with religion through the years. A lot of stuff about it has never really added up to me, and I struggled a great deal with doubt. And at times I've been tempted to lose my faith altogether, but I've managed to keep hold of it by focusing on one thing which has been difficult for me to doubt. And that's the presence of love in my life. Not just any kind of love, but the kind of love that I see in the stories of Jesus in the Bible and, and of God's working with the people of Israel in the Old Testament. It's an unconditional love, a selfless love. It's very, very beautiful. It has the ability to bring some good out of very, very sad things. And it kind of gives me the feeling that it's a, just that it's a little bit alive because it invites me to trust in it, to give myself over to it. That's what love does. And I can doubt a lot of things in the world. I can doubt some of the stories in the Bible, but I can't doubt that spirit of love that I see operating in the stories about Jesus and in the stories of his followers in the Bible. That kind of love has made a difference in my life. I certainly don't claim to have all the answers, but if I have an ax to grind, <laughs> it's the ax of this love because it's not only enabled me to hold on to my religious faith, but it's enabled me to have a bit of a better understanding of where I come from where I'm going and what I ought to be doing in this life. It's helped me. And maybe by sharing some stories about it, it can help you as well. I hope so. Mm -hmm.